What is going on everyone, my name is Matt and welcome to a new video on my channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Dust 2. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Dust 2 and especially the things that you probably forgot about or didn't really know about on the new map. I am not doing this by my own, as you can see by the title, Nate King has a feature in it, so he will be showing you guys some tips and tricks too. Now if you happen to like videos like these, make sure to head over to Nate King's channel and subscribe to it because that is all he does on his channel and you might as well check it out. Me and Nate King are not only collaborating on a video, we're also doing a giveaway of three knives together a gut knife doppler a flip knife doppler and a bayonet doppler all the skins were provided by my own website mattcs.com so make sure to check that out if you want to also please make sure to join the giveaway because it is so easy that it would be a waste for you not to enter the giveaway without further ado guys let's get right into the first thing i want to show you so on the old dust 2 map you could definitely boost yourself over from the ledge of b to peek over to ct but what would always end up happening is you being very exposed when you peek over that ledge but now on the new dust 2 map they added spikes on the wall on b and that way you can cover behind those spikes and people will actually not be able to see you very well whenever you're peeking over the wall. However, you on the other hand have a very clear sight on CT and people wanting to enter B from mid. It might not be the craziest tip, glitch or whatever, but I thought I'd let you guys know because I think this will be very useful in competitive play. Hey guys, Nate King here. Big thanks to Matt CS for inviting me here to show some tricks on new The Dust 2. I love him, no homo. I will show some new tricks here which haven't been on my channel yet because some of you watch both of our channels. It would be boring for you to see the same tricks over and over again. So let's get straight into the tricks or I would rather say ideas. If terrorists play their default round, they most likely throw Xbox smoke and the easiest and fastest one goes like this. It bounces in the middle, right here. If they do it often, then you as a CT, you can throw Molotov over the wall like this. This does two things. Aggressive people coming from suicide can't push you that fast and if they throw this Xbox smoke, it ruins their smoke and actually gives you nice cover if you want to surprise your enemies. So super general idea, which costs you the price of incendiary. So the next spot on this map is on T side. And as you can see, it looks very weird what I'm doing right now. And that is because I'm trying to visualize my friends with bots because I don't have any friends. Anyway, the point I'm trying to get across is that you need to have a triple boost for this spot to work. So what you want to do is have one friend stand on the higher ledge and one friend stand on top of his head, but the second person that is being boosted should bend outwards a little bit. When you've got that set up, you just jump onto their heads and you glide onto like a little pixel barrier, which it basically makes it look like you're floating. This spot does not have any competitive benefits, I think. Maybe it does if you're just camping in spawn or something, but I thought I would mention it because I think it's a very cool spot. You can definitely try it with your friends and amaze some of your teammates. Next up, B-Tunnels. It seems so easy to throw nades like this, but I show you nade combo which may help you against AWP on B-Plat. If there's AWP sitting and watching tunnels, first, you don't want to show yourself, so you can't smoke like this, but you can still smoke B-Plat when you bounce the smoke right here. Here you have yourself a nice barrel smoke, so AWP have to instantly change his position and you can push him with other nades. If you decide to push, I have one cool flash for you as well. Be around this position, run and throw the flash but make sure flash makes its first bounce above this red sign like this. You can then go with the flash and you don't have to turn your head away. With this flash, you can actually face the enemies while they can't face you. It's actually the nicest flash I've ever seen. So if you guys may remember, on the old Dust 2 map in T-Spawn, there used to be a tire that you could kick around like a football. If you didn't know about this tire, here's a clip of Kugo and Fitz kicking around the tire. Here they come. Yeah, they right. Ready, ready, All right. ready? Alright, let's go. It's the fall. <laughs> What the oh, fuck, okay. Here come the CTs. Guys, no, oh my god, here come the CTs. Alright, so I'm gonna keep that clip short, otherwise you guys might get tired of it. Anyways, on the release of the new Dust 2 map, the developers or the map makers actually put a football instead of a tire on the map, which you can actually kick around with ease now. This obviously comes with problems since it's something that Valve made. So what you want to do is take the ball and just kick it all the way over to B site or wherever else you want to use this exploit. But for now, I'm going to take the ball with me to B site. So whenever you get to B site and you have the ball with you, the only thing that you really want to do is put the ball into a corner. And what will happen next is the ball will glitch in between where it's being locked and your body will which just makes it sound like it is very loud. So why I think this glitch is worth showing is because it could potentially cover up some silent shots or maybe even a bomb plant. Thank you. 
So as you can hear, I compared the ball glitch to some in-game weapons. And you can tell that the ball was making a lot of noise, not only because the guns that you're firing are way louder than what other people hear, but also because of CSGO, their new sound update, whenever you jump on iron, it sounds like iron. Whenever you jump on wood, it sounds like wood. And that update actually made the sounds a little bit more noisy and that actually interacts with the ball. And that also is a reason for the ball making such a loud noise. So make sure to use this glitch to your advantage while you can, because I feel like this is actually going to get patched very soon. And the last trick from me. This is simple op wall bank from CT spawn to B bomb site. So get stuck right here, crouch, now aim right side of this dark mark and a bit down from this black line above. So place your crosshair like this and if you feel the right time, start shooting. It catches everyone peeking doors as T's do it kinda often when they capture B bomb site with ease. So definitely worth a try, especially if you don't want to push the CT smoke yet. So I hope your IQ is now 200 and you're actually loving our collaboration tricks. Peace out. So guys, as you heard, that was it for today's video now of course if you did enjoy make sure to subscribe to both our channels and do not forget to join the giveaway that we're hosting also a big shout out once again to nade king for being in the video his spots were definitely super general so anyways guys that was it for today's video please leave a like on the video and consider subscribing to us once again and that was all that i had to say for today's video and i'm out peace She for me in the backseat, baby, make it last. I remember that.